Hey, Chris here. Welcome to this video, which is the Toro UK review video that I'm doing. And basically, Toro UK is a, a platform where you can rent your car out just simply when you're not using it and earn money from it rather than it just sitting there in your driveway and costing you money. We're going to get on the laptop in a second and I'm going to show you people that are renting their cars out on the platform already. And also, if you stick around to the end, I'm going to share with you my plans to actually rent a car from Toro myself so I can share with you the first-hand experience of what it's like using the platform. So jumping on the laptop then, this is the site here. So when you put in Toro.com, it actually looks like it's the American website. So if we go into here and uh, we just click, so you can see it's all American places, but if we just click current location, that's of course gonna know that I'm in the UK. So I'm actually not too far from, uh, I'm around Coventry uh, sort of area. And if we go ahead and just search here for um, you know a car, we can look at what kind of cars people are renting out at the moment here. Now we can see here that there's a, a couple of Vauxhalls there at the top. So this is a Vauxhall Zafira people carrier and uh, yeah, it's renting out at 36 pounds a day. So for that three day hire there, it's gonna work out at an estimated 108 pounds. There's an Astra here, that's 32 pounds a day. Then there's a, a BMW 3 Series, 42 pounds a day. Uh, sort of newer Toyota Prius 2018 model for 43 pounds and so on. You know, you can go through these and look at, there's all different kinds of options. So there's a, a newer model Audi S3 there, that's 93 pounds a day. Or if you wanted a Mercedes CLA 2019 model, that's 66 pounds a day. You can even get a Tesla Model 3, and this is a 2021 model, it says. Uh, just one person has rented the car at the moment. But that is just simply 94 pounds a day there. I believe if you were to rent it for one day, it would be that uh, 105 that it's got crossed out. But uh, yeah, I mean, 105 pounds to rent a Tesla for the day, it seems pretty good to me. Now, if you haven't quite got a Tesla Model 3, say you've just got something like a you know, Ford Focus, whatever, you know, just a hatchback, let's go over to this page here and uh, check out basically what vehicles Toro accept for rental on their platform because I got quite excited about this and then when I realized that I can't rent my car out on there because it's got too many miles and it's too old, then I was a bit, uh, you know, I wasn't as excited then. But if we click on, so I've just clicked on to vehicle listing requirements for the UK and you can see here that uh, the rules are, so there's lots of different little rules. I'll, I'll put a link to this page, by the way, in the description if you wanna check it out. Basic rules are that it can't be more than 10 years old. I don't know why it's saying it has to be an insurance group of between one and 50, so I'm pretty sure all the cars in the UK are between one and 50, so I'm not sure there. But uh, it has to have a, a market value of uh, no more than 100,000 pounds, which I think is, probably going to be okay for most people there. I don't think if your car was worth over 100,000, you would probably want to let other people drive it anyway. Another crucial rule is it has to have fewer than 130,000 miles. And another crucial thing is it can't have been written off. And that also includes any uh, category, so A, B, C, D, N, an S there. So you really have to have a clean car, newer than 10 years old, with less than 130,000 miles. Now, if you get a car that's, say, nine years old with 129,000 miles, and you put the car onto the platform, you can then keep renting it out on Toro as long as you keep the car, of course, roadworthy and safe and fit for you. So as long as you get the car on there when it qualifies, it, just because it then goes over 10 years old and 130,000 miles doesn't mean you have to then take it off the platform. Now, I'm guessing there may be quite a few questions about this video. So obviously, if you have any questions to do with this, then definitely join me on a live stream here on the channel that I run a couple of evenings each week. But um, I am actually going to be looking to rent a car off this site. I'm not quite sure which one yet because I have seen a, a rather tasty uh, Mercedes A35 AMG or I'm potentially gonna rent a, a Tesla Model 3 because I've always wanted to try one out. Actually, here is the Mercedes that I'm potentially looking at getting just for the day, uh, just because I think it looks really, really cool and uh, quite fancy it. So uh, there's a, a photo of it there. It's not a great photo, actually. 
Um, yeah, pretty terrible photo, if I'm honest, just the, the bottom of the car there. If you're now thinking about renting your car on Toro, do drop a comment below on this video. Let me know what car you have and uh, what sort of price you would look to charge and if you think it's worthwhile, or if you have any negative opinions on Toro, I'll be happy to hear negative ones as well. If you've had any value from this video and you've learned anything whatsoever, please do drop a like below. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.